Shroud's game is shutting down? Wait, what? Hello, soldiers. Today, we have an interesting episode to talk about. Shroud's okay. new game that launched just a month ago and could very well be on the verge of shutting down. Mm. It was recently reported that 13 staff members at Mountaintop Studios, the developers behind Spectre Divide, were laid off. And nobody seems to be discussing Why were they laid off, though? That's kind of weird. But I will say, Spectre Divide is a... It is a very good game. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. But I will say there's it's just the art style that gets it for me. But let's keep watching this. Not even the big accounting creators like Mr. Shroud himself. Mm. Now, to clarify, I'm not saying that it's official for those wondering. And no developers from Mountaintop Studios have confirmed that the game is shutting down. However, I have every reason to believe that it could be heading in that direction. Okay. And there are several factors that support this. Some content creators were sponsored to play the beta of Spectre Divide, but none of them played the game during its launch period, except for Shroud. The developers had stated that they were self-publishing the game, and as an indie team consisting of 70 staff members, they knew it would be difficult to reach a larger audience. But that to me sounds more like an excuse. I feel like they expected more people to play the game. And like I said before, the art style, it, it's just, it just, it's too weird for me. I feel like it's too, like, Borderlands-y. Like, I feel like if they went with a more um, appealing art style, the game would actually be more famous because Valorant, right, was able to become this big spectacle, right? People thought it was going to die. People thought Valorant wasn't going to be huge because of Counter-Strike. But then they started to realize there is this corner of the market and it's a 3v3 type of game. And I want this game to succeed, Shroud, right? I want your game to be like big, but I, at the, like the, you need to understand. Sorry, I stumbled there. You need to understand, Shroud, that you need to make the game look good because I was looking at the skins and I was like, this this is literal doo-doo. Like the way the game looks is so bad. It looks so bad that like no one wants to play it. Like I literally I was so excited like to play it when you guys gave the alpha test. I appreciate you, Shroud, for giving me an alpha key. I asked someone in the Discord and they gave it to me, um, one of the mods, because I I gave them my social media pages. Um, and I was so excited. Like we, me and my homies are like, yeah, though, this game is pretty good. I like the gameplay. Um, I got used to the visuals a little bit, but then I started to realize like my homie said, we're going to play it when it comes out. We all waited. We kept looking at the game and we're like, I like the game. I like the gameplay. It's super cool, but it just doesn't look visually nice. You see what I'm saying? And none of us played it during launch. Right. But we played a lot during like the first alpha that you guys came out with publicly. Um, and it was fun, but like, I don't know if they do that because it's the art style they want to go with, if it's basically the way they want to do things. But at the same time, I just think they need to change it, but I might be wrong. Sorry, guys, I'm still a little sick and I'm recording two videos at once, but let's keep moving on. Because how do you fire 13 of your staff members just one month after launch? I mean, surely yeah. you had to plan this out, right? Well, here's the thing. They likely overestimated the revenue and the player count they were expecting. And they probably thought that having Shroud and other sponsored content creators would be enough to boost the game. The reality is that even Shroud isn't playing Spectre Divide anymore. For the past few weeks, I've seen him play Deadlock and other games far more than Spectre Divide. You know what's, you know what's kind of funny? He was coming out with a brand new game. Like People were so excited for it. They actually announced this game a while ago. But then you guys start to realize, right, that he's playing Deadlock, like this new, like, like this new MOBA, right? That's like making the next generation of MOBAs. Like people are loving this game, but then he still has to play like his game for a couple hours, like two to three hours, and then he goes back to Deadlock. And I actually been seeing him play more of a, this new MMO. I think it's called Sons of Liberty, or it's some type of game like that. I don't know. It's some MMO. I might be wrong about the name, but he's playing that now, and then he plays some Deadlock too. Deadlock is really good. I I'm not gonna lie, comparing Deadlock to Spectre Divide, I know they're completely different genres, but Deadlock hits so good, bro. You could play that game for like 20 hours and not even get bored. You could play that game for a thousand hours and probably not get bored because learning the characters, doing the map, it, the third person, the way the characters look, the way the world looks, the way the abilities play out the way it's team play you see what i'm saying it is a little tilting when you lose in that game but at the same time that game it just it, it's just something different Spectre divide it it is something di different but it's not appealing to your audience it's not appealing like people it needs to look appealing like yeah this kind of looks a little weird and the art style not cool but it plays fluid 
um, to some people. And then the more you watch the art style, the more you like it, right? With Spectre Divide, the more you watch the art style, you're just like, eh, okay. It's all right. You see, I might be wrong, though. I might be wrong. Put it in the comment section. If you think you roast me, Spectre Divide is the best game, put it in the comment section. Be vocal. Tell me that I'm wrong. But at the same time, I don't think I am. Because if I have three of my homies saying the same thing, if I talk to other people about it and they're all saying the same thing, I don't know. I want Shaw to succeed. You see what I'm saying? I want his game studio to succeed, but I don't know. If you look at the Steam charts today, where the game is only available to play, well, it's not even been a month and it's struggling to hold 5,000 players. Do you honestly think that a free-to-play game with overpriced microtransactions can be sustainable with a player count of just 5,000? I mean, you didn't release the game on any other platforms besides Steam, mm -hmm. and you could have gathered way more players if you decided to release it to PlayStation and Xbox console. I think, I think he's right. You definitely need to re re uh, release the console. Valorant was able to actually do that, and they were able to actually make it big. Like Valorant is huge on console now, right? But five thousand players isn't bad. That's more than multiverse. It's, I know it's a fighting game, but like it's still it's still a lot. But it's still like it still needs it needs to improve. And I feel like they can slowly bring the player base back if they keep changing stuff. Um, Oops. Yeah. So why is this happening? Is it just poor preparation from developers or is the game simply not good enough? I believe it's a combination of both. The first issue is that Spectre Divide had a poor release with bugs, glitches and optimization issues that still exist to this day. Okay. On top of that, it's missing essential features like a battle pass, match history and a replay system. Not having these features available even now, along with ongoing performance and connection issues, just leaves players with a bad first impression. I can never excuse a game company for failing to deliver a proper product i will say the the game plays good right the game plays good there is a couple connection issues i don't think it replaces a lot of like siege and and a whole bunch of other games didn't come out with the replay system for a very long time i don't think that's what it is but i do think the connection issues are a huge factor in people leaving and people not liking the game no matter how common it's become in the gaming industry these days. Then, you have these insanely overpriced skins and bundles for characters and weapons that don't even look half as good as the skins in Valorant. The characters or classes in Spectre Divide are incredibly boring and generic, and a lot of people seem to agree that the art style just isn't appealing enough. I mean, think about it. If you don't have visually appealing characters or weapons to begin with, then why the fuck would anybody want to buy skins for them? I strongly believe that if you're trying to monetize your game by charging more for skins than your competitors while offering less appealing characters, well then, surprise, surprise, you're not going to make any money. Exactly. And you, you have to understand, this art style, Riot did it perfectly. I know you, got, you guys can be right because you guys are an indie studio, but you guys can make a good art style right this is amazing this is appealing all the guns if you see the guns in riot bro they're insane and when people are trying to compare those games i know that you guys they cannot like just they have like hundreds of artists working on this game i might be wrong about how many people they have but they have like they, it looks like they have hundreds of artists they have so many talented people that all the skins look so good when you looked at the spectre device skin there was a skin for like 50 to 75 dollars maybe even more than that and it literally looks straight trash. I'm not going to lie. Like, it had a little electricity to it. But the art style was so bad that, like, you guys could, like, if you guys put time and effort, it would look amazing. But with that art style, I think you guys could put time and effort. It will still look trash. Maybe I'm wrong, right? Um, I know it was kind of sending there, but at the same time, it made sense. Um, but, I, dude, Valorant, dude, when the Valorant first came out, it was, you see what I'm saying? Like, it played good. It looked good. It, it just had that appeal. When Spectre Divide came out, it just doesn't have it, bro. It just doesn't. I don't know. And how about not copy and paste elements from your competitors and make something unique and innovative instead? The reason why people kept saying that this game looks like Valorant is because it does look like Valorant. It's a little different. I think the white text is similar, but they all copy each other kind of with that type of stuff. I think this innovation in the guns is cool. I think teleporting to another person is cool. I would have to disagree with this. I think this is fine, right? But the appeal, like, these guns look cool, right? They look cool in the art, but when you bring them in game, they just don't look good. The text font, description labels, map layouts, and objects, all of it looked incredibly similar to Valorant. I don't see how they thought they could get away with that and not expect it to be a big deal. Well, I think it's similar, but at the same time, it's very different. And, like, you can... 
it's just different class systems. You're and the thing I like about this game is you can like you can like make your guy look the way you want it to look. In Valorant, it's like so like you're you're attached to that one hero, and that is an advantage, right? But in this game, you can like make the character that you want to make, right? And that actually that brings you closer to the character. But the thing is, it doesn't have you can have like you can still have crazy cutscenes, right? Um, but the thing is, there's no storytelling to your world, so there is cutoffs, right? But I do like that you, but the thing is, the cosmetics are trash. <laughs> the cosmetics are your guy's face, like this cool face mask and stuff. But it just looks so crappy that I'm just like, I'm not going to buy this. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe I need to give it another try. But like, <laughs> I don't know. Until they start making changes that I want to see, then I'll give it another try. Oh, let me tell you, it is a big deal. It leaves a bad taste and creates a poor first impression. Just because a video game succeeds by doing one thing very good, doesn't mean that others following the same path will see the same success. That is simply not true. And I suppose the gameplay itself wasn't necessarily bad. I will say that the gunplay and mechanics were decent and interesting enough to create some fun gameplay moments, but not mind-blowing to people that are already aware of this genre. And having the duality feature as Petty Divide's main selling point wasn't enough to make the game stand out when everything else was just mediocre. This duality feature alone wasn't going to pull players away from Valorant or Counter-Strike, mm. especially when it feels more like a gimmick rather than an ability that truly belonged in the universe of Spectre Divide. I think it feels like a gimmick because it doesn't look good. Like, I think it's a very good idea. I think this could... I think Valorant, if they did this, they could make it into an agent where you can be on both sides, right? It might be a little broken. Actually, I don't know if they can do that. But I don't think it's a gimmick. I think it actually makes good gameplay. I think it actually makes, like... You can go from each side. It's actually 3v3, so you don't need a full squad. Or you and the homies can just play. I actually like the idea, and I think it's innovative. But it looks like trash. I can see their attempt to make the duality feature sound more compelling, but when everything else in the game either falls flat or fails to stand out against its competitors, well then it's not going to be enough to carry this game. I mentioned some of these things in my previous video about why I thought Spitted Divide was failing, and it turns yep. out I was pretty much right about everything. I never want any game to fail, but I don't like how we continue to make excuses for poor products that don't try to elevate or innovate on the genre, mm. especially when you shamelessly copy and paste so many elements from other video games. Will Spectre Divide eventually shut down? Yeah, that is my prediction. Maybe not now, but in the upcoming weeks or months. Because there's no way this game will be able to sustain whatever player base it currently has. You don't think it's gonna be- he, he says he's not gonna sustain more than 5,000 players. I think that's a little crazy, but hey, he might be right. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying, I feel like he's right about 90% of what he's saying, but the 10% I think he's wrong about. Maybe he just has a lot of, um, his points are a little different than mine. Maybe our points are completely different. Hey, maybe he's right. Put it in the comment section, but he's, he's mostly right. But the thing is, I think it will be able to sustain a thousand to 2000 players for a very long time. Um, but they need to change things. They need to do it now before it's too late. And I don't know. I feel bad for Shroud. You see what I'm saying? I feel bad. He like he liked he saw this indie project. He thought it was gonna do amazing. He believed in the developers. He gave a chance. And sometimes projects fail, right? Sometimes you have bad projects. But then if you might come out with that one good one, that might change the industry. And Shroud, he is a spectacle to the industry. I don't have neg no negative feeling towards Shroud. I just want the best for him. I don't want Shroud to fail. I want Shroud to succeed. You see what I'm saying? He is already making a lot of money. He's already successful. But I want him to make... I want him to... I want the game to succeed, right? So that's why I'm being vocal about it. And I think he, if he ever does watch this video, he's probably not going to. But if he ever does, Shroud, bro. Like, if you make the game look good, you make the game amazing, the art style, then I feel like people would play it. I already said this a million times in the video, but I just want to give a direct message to you. But yeah, let's keep, let's watch the end. I feel like I have to say this all the time, but again, I don't have anything against Shroud or this game. I just think it really leaves a poor taste in my mouth with these practices. And hear me out, soldiers, I would never give you any bullshit. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to my viewers and be a fanboy over a game just because I happen to watch Shroud on Twitch. That to me is ridiculous. Anyway, soldiers, you can hate or dislike the video all you want, but that's about it. I am out. Yo, um, I'm gonna say, guys. Ooh, 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 Hello, ooh, soldier. Ooh, ooh, sorry, it it uh, it always does that. But shout out, sorry, <laughs> shout out to um, I can't even say your name, Molus. 
uh i don't know if i said your name wrong if you guys have not subscribed turn on your notifications only at 200 subs this video was actually very well formatted i i enjoyed your video brother thank you so much if you guys have not subscribed turn on your notifications like the video give most of a shout out let's get them to a thousand subs guys support the creators before you support me i'm gonna give them a shout out before i even tell you guys it's up to me but thank you guys so much if you guys have not like subscribe and turn on your notifications for me as well this is a little different we're doing a little bit more gaming stuff i want to add this slowly into my channel i know that the celebrity stuff the the fade stuff is cool but like let's add some let's add some gaming bro i'm 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 a true gamer but yeah guys thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys peace